Welcome to the BFME1 online battle arena in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. This time on the map, Last Bridge against Jabbergan. We both pick random and I will get to play with the Gondor faction. And sorry for my inactivity in the last days. I was very sick. I'm still sick. Maybe you can hear it in my voice. My throat hurts me quite a lot. I can barely breathe through my nose. I'm suffering. I'm suffering. So, you know, instead of suffering alone, I will try to make the BFME players suffer too. By bashing them in the online battle arena. So Gondor against Mordor matchup. I like it. Good against Evil, my favorite. Mordor is uh, really strong right now. So we will have to deal potentially with thousands of orcs. Orc warriors. And also my start could be a bit better if I think about it. Because in this matchup when you play as Gondor against Mordor. You could also start with double farm technology. So you don't need the you don't need the, the blacksmith level two that quickly in this matchup. Having the cheaper resource building, you basically save 50 because the blacksmith costs 400. You know. I mean, I'm I'm totally down to this, bro. I will three, two, four, one. You know. I like the way he's thinking that he wanna go for the for the counter attack, but I'm totally down to this. I will lose one farm in exchange though. That's could be better. Off we go. He should use Eye of Sauron there actually to get level two with the orcs. That would be the best thing that he can do. Go on. Nah, he did. He did it. He did it. Okay, but it's okay. In a one-on-one -on -one situation, the soldiers will always smash those orcs. Cloak. Is he gonna use the Eye of Sauron to reveal me? I'm curious. Come on. Oh, he did, actually. Okay. Uh, okay, run. Uh, not Smeagol. Pippin, please run. I need to stable as soon as possible. And I have also still the heal ability available. That's pretty good. My soldier is about to hit level 2, guys. That would be amazing. But my eco is not looking too hot. I wanna fight this. I can use heal. I will use heal at the top side actually. Let me use heal. Okay, so I wanna get the soldier to level 2, you know? To destroy his lumber mill. Oh, beautiful voice, beautiful. This level 2 soldier is gonna be so good for us. Come on, Lambert will be destroyed already, bro. I will commit, I will commit to this. Come on! We are so poor, actually. It's unbelievable. Level 2 Hobbit, beautiful, beautiful. So level 2 Hobbit will always one-shot the Orc Warriors. That's pretty good, actually. And we also have a level 2 Soldier. We got both of our starting units to level 2. And we also destroyed all the settlements. Now, it might look like that he dealt a lot of damage to us. But trust me when I say that he is super broke. He has no money. He didn't have any settlement for longer than a minute under his control. He's basically playing the game since the start without any uh, lumber mills outside. I'm not sure if he went for the second orc pit technology, but he should, because in order to get, you know, back to the game and find yourself a way back to the game, you need to creep a lot. You need to take care of the work layers and troll layers on this map, you know? I will not wait for the settlement actually with my knights, bro. I'm so broke. <laughs> I don't want to let Peregrine Tuk die. Peregrine Tuk, do not die on me, bro. Boom. Okay, so that's the best counter to the Orc Spam. So you get like one, two, maybe three knights up on the field. And then you just trample them over and over again. Prepare for battle. Wedge. Press on. 
And the most important thing is to fight for the settlements. You don't want Mordor to get too much money for no reason. Right out. Together. We rule this day. We've improved the smithy. I think I need a nap. Ah. Rain down upon them. Be careful. There are wolves nearby. Rout the enemy. Let's hold our ground. You shall be down upon them. We're under attack. Okay. Be careful. Men of Gondor. Let's creep this one. We have them. Press on. Onward. The farm is ready. We'll claim this area. Draw back, men of Gondor. Ready yourselves. I think I need a nap. Quickly. Swords. I mean, uh, you know, I would like to take a look into the castle of my opponent, but I'm a bit afraid. So, um. I always like to have the plan B. Plan B is bottom here, you know? Like, I want to be prepared for the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario in this matchup is to get to the lead game and to not have the damage leadership to burst down through Trolls and Nazgûs and Witch King. So for that reason, to, uh, you know, kind of be prepared for this worst case scenario, you need to invest the time and the money also into bottom here in the mid game. So I want to go for Boromir. Boromir will have an easy time to creep the troll layers on this map. And this way also get quite easy to, easily to level 4. Go for a trample. Boom. Okay, he didn't creep anything, I think. So I think he's super broke. I, can, I will cover this line, actually. I will cover this. So my soldiers and my hobbit can stay on this land and become ultra tanky. Super and annoying to be dealt with. And Boromir, the captain, will be there very soon, creeping this troller. And you see, basically, we make sure that enemy has basically no um, map control, getting zero resources from outer settlements. Press on. Come on, men. We have them. There are wolves near. Knight and that's your priority against Mordor. Together. And you Down get your first Lord. knight, first Down one or two knights on the field. You want to use them to make Lord sure that enemy has no Lord settlements Lord. for getting resources outside, at least. And then afterwards, you can still creep. But do not creep first, you know. Just destroy the Lumber Mills. That's your primary target. The farm is ready. Tell me again why I came. Look, Boromir easy creeping. We go for Faramir now for the other creep there at the top side. So we will get the Brothers of Gondor to level 5, uh, level 4, 5. So we have triple leadership for the worst case scenario. Again, maybe we don't need it. I don't know how much money he has. I'm sure he doesn't have that much money. But I don't see any trolls up on the field. So I'm afraid that he might rush for a Nazgul. And that's why Faramir is very good for that. Easy creeping with Boromir. I like it. I like it. I'm gonna get the outpost now. Okay, at the outpost we build um, statue, well, and also archer range. No, 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 no. I want to leave this to Faramir. Overpower them. Prepare for battle. The farm is ready. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I even forgot about the settlement in my base, bro. Finish him, Faramir. Show your quality, bro. Rout the enemy. Rally together, knights. Wretched creatures. I will do what I can. Okay, boom! Oh, he didn't die, actually. Okay, one more shot. One more shot. Wretched creatures. Men of Gondor. I think that's the enemy there. I mean, we have basically full map. He, uh, he just built a slaughterhouse inside his castle, bro. How poor is this guy, please? I mean that's the problem about playing hyper aggressive like you did it hit, like you did at the beginning of the game. Um, remember he destroyed my first farm in the front, 
but then he didn't even try to fight for it. So I was, he was able to destroy and take it, but after taking it, like 10 seconds after taking it, I again destroyed it. So he couldn't keep any of the, of the farms he took away from me. And he also didn't demolish them in time, so he didn't get any money back as well, you know? Oh, be careful there with the knights. Okay, Faramir, get, take this outpost. Take it. If I win this game, by the way, guys, I'm gonna be 10 0 in the ladder. So, as I climb up the ladder, I will, I think, be rank 30, you know? 10 or 11 0 I will be. Um, soon, or, soon or later, we will have uh, way, way harder opponents to fight against. In the online ladder so in order to not miss the upcoming games make sure to subscribe to the channel and also leave a like and i will also upload more videos once i feel a bit more healthy because my when i speak too much you know um my throat still hurts We hobbits really don't like killing. I want to go in with my soldiers and hobbit. One does simply walk into Mordor. I want to see what he has, actually. I want to see what he has. Tell me again why I came. Knights. Together. I see a troll cage in his piece. Bro, this guy has nothing. I mean, not much. I don't want to say nothing, but... He's super broke. What, what did he do? I'm curious. Okay, Faramir got also level 5. That's amazing. Amazing. Now we have uh, double leadership for the for the ranger archer army from Gondor. And the brothers are actually kind of like yin yang, you know? They give, uh, one of them gives armor, the other one gives damage. So they are kind of uh, working and having really great teamwork with each other, you know what I'm saying? Be calm. Be calm. We will protect these lands. Two parts, two faces of the coin. And that's gonna be the push to win the game, boys. Who now is the strength to fight against the forces of Boromir and Faramir? In the union of the two brothers. The only one who could defeat us would be Denethor. I mean, he was the real warm tongue. I know he wasn't like this in the books, though. But in the, in the, in the films, he was a total douchebag. I hated him. In the book, I mean, in the books, he wasn't super nice either. But he was actually a great captain. You know, he was doing a good job for Gondor. Where is the horse and the rider? Four Veorlingas. We have four summon throw here, man. We're gonna be being Oh, here's some um rock throw on his on his throws. Prepare for battle, prepare for battle. Be alert. He doesn't even have a drummer to up on here, boys. It's how crazy we dominated him. He's ultra broke. Despite him being aggressive, but he ne he didn't make sure that he has always the income of resources. He was sending every work orc forward, which was annoying for sure for us. But it also made him broke. He was not creeping anything. He didn't took a single creep from the entire map, which should be quite doable for Mordor on a map like this. Especially the war creeps, you can easily take them. Haradrim Palace was coming up super late. So with Haradrim, you could also creep the trolls and take the outpost. But he did it. And that's gonna be the game. The, fair, the victory, I think number 10 or number 11. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.